San Francisco has a fascinating and complex network of governmental and community organizations that often overlap in their missions and collaborate on solving today's challenges. Though often used for good, there have been instances where these relationships have created conflicts, unduly influenced city policies or services, or circumvented procedures. To reduce these issues, policies restricting officials' ability to solicit behested payments were created. But what is a behested payment? Simply put, a behested payment is one made, for example, to a nonprofit, at the request, suggestion, or direction of a city officer or designated employee. A payment can be cash, goods, and or services. These rules have no impact on your ability to donate to a charity or other organization. The rules only apply to officers or designated employees of the city and county of San Francisco. These city officers and designated employees are prohibited from asking interested parties to make contributions, with some limited exceptions. This video will explain who interested parties are, the types of solicitations that are not allowed, and what exceptions allow for certain solicitations. Fortunately, no actual partying is restricted by these rules. Simply put, an interested party can be anyone with an interest in your department's work, including anyone seeking to influence your department, also known as lobbying, over the past 12 months, permit consultants who are registered with the Ethics Commission and have reported any contacts with the officer's or employee's department during the past 12 months, or anyone seeking administrative enforcement, a license, a permit, or other entitlement from your department. Consider this. If someone is seeking a favorable decision from you or your office, and then you ask them to donate to a charity, they might think that if they do donate, they will get preferential treatment. This is what we want to avoid, the real or perceived conflict of interest. There are some exceptions to these rules to help city agencies and their programs collaborate with nonprofits and receive donations. Solicitations made under authorized city programs for donations to nonprofits or public schools through competitively procured contracts are allowed if the program is authorized by an ordinance. Solicitations made in connection with the negotiation or administration of a city contract, which are directly related to the terms of or performance under the contract. Public appeals made through television, radio, billboard, a public message on an online platform, the distribution of 200 or more identical pieces of printed material, the distribution of a single email to 200 or more recipients, or a speech to a group of 20 or more people. These exceptions work because these kinds of solicitations are broad enough to not target a narrow audience. Let's look at some examples. Amira is an elected official in San Francisco. Amira knows that a food bank operating in her district is in dire need of in-kind donations to make holiday meals for families in need. ABC Inc. is a client of a registered lobbyist who has been lobbying Amira. Can Amira solicit or accept a donation from ABC Inc. on behalf of the food bank in her district? No, Amira cannot ask ABC Inc. for a donation to the food bank because ABC Inc. is likely an interested party for Amira. Amira cannot ask the lobbyist for a donation either. Amira may, however, make a public appeal for donations through mass media or to a gathering of 20 or more people. Let's try another. 
Jordan is a city officer who also volunteers for a nonprofit. Acme Inc. is a contractor with their department. Can Jordan ask the CEO of Acme Inc. to make a corporate donation to the nonprofit? No. This request is prohibited because Acme Inc. is, as a contractor with their department, an interested party. Let's try one more. A city employee, Madison, receives a flyer in the mail soliciting donations for the local animal shelter. Can Madison donate to the shelter? Madison's got the green light. There is nothing in the behested payment rules that restrict their choice to make a personal, charitable donation from their personal funds. Hopefully you now have a clearer sense of the behested payment rules. But every situation is unique. So we encourage you to build upon what you have learned and reach out to the Ethics Commission at any time for advice. For specific questions, please contact the Ethics Commission at 415-252-3100 or at ethics.commission at sfgov.org. Thank you for your service and for taking the time to learn more about behested payments. In cases where there is a discrepancy between this summary and the law, the law governs. <laughs>